Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. See you again. As I promise you, in this video, I will discuss the lab report writing for experiment 5. The title for this experiment is The Geometrical Optic. This is the lab report format that I suggest you to follow. If you follow this report format, I'm sure that you will not miss any part of your lab report writing. Now, let's take a look at, at the content of your lab report. The first part is you're supposed to write down the title, which is the geometrical optic. The learning outcome for this experiment is to determine the focal length of the convex lens. And then for the apparatus, we refer to the measuring apparatus that you use in this experiment. You're supposed to write down the correct range and, and uncertainty for that measuring apparatus. For example, in this experiment, we will use the meter rule to measure the distance and the height of the image. So the range is 0, 0.0 to 100.0 cm. And for the uncertainty, it is plus minus 0, 0.1 cm. After the apparatus is observation. The observation is divided by two, the row data, first part, and the second part is the data processing. So for the row data, from the first procedure, you need to estimate the focal length of the convex lens. So the estimate focal length value is 9.5 plus minus 0 0.1 cm. And you also need to measure the height of the object given to you before you start the experiment. And the height of the object is 1.5 plus minus 0 0.1 cm. If you write down correctly, both reading with the correct uncertainty, you will get one marks each. For the data recording, you need to record the distance for the image and also the size of the image. For the magnification, you need to do the calculation by using equation negative V over U or HI per H0. If you use the equation of HI over H0, you need to put the negative sign for the magnification. And as usual, I suggest you to calculate the sum of the value at the X and Y component because we will use it in calculating the centroid after this. For the consistent decimal place for the data that you record, you will get three marks for these three columns. First, second and third. For the data processing, before you plot the graph of M against V, you need to calculate the central point. You will use the value that you calculate in the uh, row data just now and you need to divide by the number of readings. So, the central point is equal to 29.3 cm at the X point and Y is negative 1.8. For this calculation of central, you will get 1 max. For the graph, there are 7 marks for the graph, so take a look at the graph. For the, uh, for the graph plotting, first, the title of the graph is M against V with the unit of centimeter. So, for the title, you will get 1 mark. Second mark is referring to the label axis with the correct unit. At the Y axis is magnification M and at the X axis is the image distance V with the unit centimeter, so you will get one marks. The next marks is referring to the suitable scale at the X and Y axis, so you will get marks if you use correct scale. And then, uh, referring to the point plotted, you're supposed to plot six points correctly, and if you do so, you will get two marks. And then, for the centroid point plotted correctly, referring to the calculated centroid, you will get one marks. And last mark for the graph is straight line, supposed to passing through the centroid and few points that you have been plotted. So total marks for the graph is seven marks. To calculate the gradient from the graph, there are few things that you need to consider. The first thing is the gradient triangle at the x axis supposed to be greater than 8 cm and also the decimal places when you substitute the gradient of the graph. So take a look at the graph first. So the gradient of the triangle that I told you just now is here supposed to be greater than 8 cm at the x axis. And then for the decimal places at the x and y component, we need to calculate referring to the scale that we use. For example, at the y-axis, 
the scale is 0 0.4 divided by 10 boxes times with the half of the smaller scale we get 0 0.02 meaning that at the y axis we need to consider two decimal places and for the x axis the scale is 5.0 so to identify the decimal places that we supposed to use 5.0 Divide by 10 times with half, it is equal to 0 0.25, meaning that two decimal places at the x exist. For the calculation of the gradient of the graph, you will get marks for the gradient triangle just now. And then you write down the correct equation for the cor uh, gradient. You substitute correctly at the y axis and the x axis with the correct decimal places. And also your final answer with the correct unit. So total mark that you will get is 4 marks. The next part is you need to determine the focal length from the gradient of the graph. So, referring to the equation in the theory which is m is equal to negative v over f plus 1, we need to compare with the straight line graph which is y is equal to mx plus c. When we compare, we know that the gradient of the graph m is equal to negative 1 over f. Because of that, we can calculate or we can determine the focal length from the gradient of the graph which is equal to 8.9 cm. So for this purpose, we will get, you will get 2 marks. You also need to determine the focal length when the m is equal to negative 1 from the graph. Because of that, take a look at the graph. From the graph, when m is equal to negative 1, v is equal to 22 cm. Because of that, we can determine the focal length by substituting the value for V, which is 22 cm, in the equation of V is equal to 2F. Then we will get the focal length when M is equal to negative 1 from the graph, which is 11 cm. So for that purpose, you will get 1 mark. Next is the discussion. So for the discussion, the first part of the discussion, you need to compare the value of focal length that you get from the experiment with the theoretical value. And you're supposed to write down that from the experiment when the value for focal length of the value for focal length obtained is 8.1 cm, which is lower compared to the theoretical value of 10 cm. And also you need to state the value for focal length when m is equal to 1 and V is equal to 22 cm, the value of the focal length obtained is 11 cm. With this statement, you will get 1 mark. The second part of the discussion is you need to state two sources of error referring to the systematic error and random error and also step taken to overcome. So the first error is the first source of error is random uh, random error, which is parallax error. While taking the reading of the estim to estimate the focal length, object distance, image distance, and height of the object, and also height of the image using the meter rule. So step taken to overcome is the observer's eyes should be perpendicular to the scale. The second source of error is systematic error, which is zero error. When taking the reading using the meter rule, so the step taken to overcome is take note the N error. All measurement made should consider an error. So for these two sources of errors correct, you will get two marks. The third part of the discussion is you need to state two precautions taken before and while doing the experiment. So here I give you four. The, the important things that you need to highlight about the precaution is you need to write down the reason when you why you take that precaution. For example, the first precaution, make sure that the surface of the lens is clean from dirt to avoid the unclear image form. And for the second precaution, make sure that the room is dark enough so that it is easier to observe the image on the screen. This is the example of the, the way you're supposed to write down the precaution. Okay, And then for the conclusion, we just need to re, uh, answer or refer to the learning outcome. Because of that, our conclusion is from the experiment, 
The focal length of a combat lens obtained is 8.9 cm. For the conclusion, you write down the correct statement with the correct value from the calculation. You will get 3 marks. So I think that's it for the lab report writing for experiment 5. Okay, thank you for watching everyone. I hope that you stay safe and always take care of yourself. I also wish you all the best and good luck uh, for the practical test especially. Okay, if you think that this video helped you to write down the lab report correctly, can you please click the button subscribe, like and please share this video with all of your friends. And if you leave a comment, uh, I really appreciate that so that I can improve my next video. So don't forget to see my next video for the lab report writing, experiment 6. Okay, bye.